Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be creating tools and armour. So in order to create tools and armour we're going to need to create materials for each one. So under common let's go to new package and call it dot material and here I'm going to create a new class called custom tool material. However this isn't going to be a class this is going to be an enum and this enum has to implement I item tier. So next let's create a private final int called harvest level then let's copy and paste this a couple of times let's change this to max uses then we need efficiency and attack damage and enchantability mining speed and attack speed are going to be both floats and then we need an ingredient repair material so next let's hover over custom tool material and add unimplemented methods forget max uses we're going to return this dot max uses, same for efficiency and for attack damage, harvest level, enchantability and repair material. Next let's create a constructor of custom tool material. In here we need the mining level, the max uses, the efficiency and the attack damage. We need the enchantability and we need a supplier of ingredient called repair material. We can press Control shift o to import supplier from java.function.util.supplier. Then we can set this dot harvest level to harvest level, this dot max uses to max uses, this dot efficiency to efficiency, this dot attack damage to attack damage, this dot enchantability to enchantability, and finally this dot repair material to repair material dot get. So to get rid of this error up here, I'm going to create a custom tool type. So let's call this example tool. Then we can add arguments like so, and then it will add a semicolon at the end of here. So first we need the harvest level. I'm going to set this to four. Then we need max uses. I'm going to set this to something like 4,000, which is the durability of the item. Then we have the efficiency, which I'm going to set to 15F, which is slightly higher than diamond. For attack damage, I'm going to put something like 2F. And for enchantability, I'm just going to put 17. And now we need to supply the custom ingredients. So let's create a supplier. And then let's call ingredient.fromItems. And then we need to give it some items. So I'm just going to add item in it dot example item dot get. And let's import item in it. And that should fix all the errors. If we want to add another tool, we can put a comma at the end of here paste this in again and then change this something to like example tool 2. Now let's create our armor material. So let's right click on material, go to new, enum, custom armor material. And this is going to implement I armor material. Let's add unimplemented methods. So up here we're going to need a private final string called name, a private final int durability multiplier, private final int array armor val private final int enchantability private final sound event equip sound private final float toughness another private final float for knockback resistance and finally a private ingredient repair ingredient and then we can create a public static final int array called base durability which is going to have these four values inside of it. Then in here we can just rename this to slot and then we can return this dot base durability index slot multiplied by this dot durability multiplier. However we can't use slot here so we have to type dot get index. To get this dot damage reduction amount we can change this to slot and then we can return this dot armor values index of slot dot get index. Then we can return this dot enchantability and here we can return this dot repair ingredient and in the name we can return this dot name. Finally for the toughness we can return this dot toughness and the exact same thing for knockback resistance with the return this dot knockback resistance. Now we need to create a function to initialize all of these so let's create a constructor which is going to take a string name int durability multiplier int array armor val int enchantability sound event equip sound float toughness float knockback resistance and a supplier of ingredient repair ingredient. 
and we want to make sure to import the supplier from java.util.function. Now inside the constructor we can do this dot name is equal to name, this dot durability multiplier is equal to durability multiplier, this dot armorval is equal to armorval, this dot enchantability is equal to enchantability, this dot equip sound is equal to equip sound, this dot toughness is equal to toughness, this dot knockback resistance is equal to knockback resistance, and finally this dot repair ingredient is equal to repair ingredient dot get, and we want to make sure that this is also final. Now up here we can finally initialize the armor, so let's do example armor, and then we need to give it the name, so I'm just going to do example for netherite, so this will be something like netherite, then for the durability multiplier, multiply all of these values to get the durability. I'm going to multiply them all by 10. Then we need a new int array, which is going to hold the armor values. So I'm going to do boots, I'm going to give me 4 armor, leggings are going to give me 7, chest plate's going to give me 9, and helmet is going to also give me 4. Then we're also going to have an enchantability of 17, and for equip sound we're going to do sound events, dot, and here we can write our sound event, which is going to be played when we equip. And if we go into the sound events class, you can see we have all of these. So we have the turtle, netherite, leather, iron, gold, generic, elytra, diamond, and chain. I'm just going to use the generic one, but you can use something else. For toughness and knockback resistance, I'm going to return 4F and 0.2F. And then finally, we need the ingredient. So just like in our tool material, we, I'm going to use the example item. So let's just copy that and paste it into here. Now let's go into our item init and register an item with the material. So let's do a public static final registry object of item. I'm going to call this example sword is equal to items dot register example sword. And now we need to supply the sword item. So let's create a new supplier of a new sword. For the material, we can do custom tool material dot example tool. Then we need to give it the damage and the attack speed, which I'm just going to put as 6 and minus 1. Here we need the properties again, so I'm just going to copy these properties over to here, like so, and just like that we have an example sword. I'm actually going to copy this five times for the axe, pickaxe, shovel, and hoe. And I'm also going to rename these things on the right. And then afterwards you can change the damage and attack speed values as you wish. I'm going to leave them here for now for simplicity's sake, but you can change these yourself if you want. So now let's create the armor. So let's just copy this down here and I'm going to call this example helmet and let's set it to items.register example helmet and then we need a supplier and then we give it an armor item. And for this we need the material, the equipment slot and the properties. For the material, we can do custom armor material dot example armor. Then for the equipment slot, we can do equipment slot type dot head for the helmet. And for the properties, we can just copy paste this once again. And that's it for our armor. So now we can copy and paste this three more times. Change this to chest plate, this to leggings, this to boots, and the same over here. This equipment slot type is going to be chest. This one's going to be legs, and this one is going to be feet. And that is it for all the Java code. Now we need to make the JSONs. So I've gone ahead and filled in the lang file for all of the items. And next we need to make the item models. So first I'm going to start with the armor because that's the easiest. So we can just copy the same generated item as our example item, but just change the name and the layer texture and we can do the same thing for the chest plate leggings and boots just like so and then we can create the tool model so let's just copy our item again change it to example sword and change this item to an example sword but this time we're going to change item generated to item hand held and we need that for all of our tools so now let's just copy and paste this five times for our other tools. So now we have our sword, axe, 
hoe, pickaxe, and shovel. Then in our resources assets, we need to create a new package called .minecraft. And in here, we're going to override all the default Minecraft layers. And as we named it example in here, we're going to need to bear that in mind when we create the name for this JSON file. So let's create a new package called .textures .model .armor like so, and let's click finish. And now we need to find our textures. So I can't really be bothered to make my own textures right now, so I've just gone ahead and taken the original diamond textures from the game. And you can see we also have these layers for the armor model. So Netherite uses a slightly different one with like an extended helmet, but I'm just gonna be using the diamond one. So now let's drag all of these bar the two layers into our textures folder like so and now I'm going to have to go through and rename all of them and now I'm going to take our two layers and drag them into this folder that we created up here and now once again we need to rename this diamond to exactly what we called our example armor otherwise it just won't work so let's rename this to example underscore layer underscore one and the other one to example underscore layer underscore two. And once we've done that, we can start the game. And now if we load into the game, we can see we have all of our knockoff diamond tools here, which all have the same attack speed and damage because we haven't set that yet. And these have different armor. And if we go and press F3 and H to show advanced tooltips, we can see that they have different durability. If we go into game mode survival, we just give ourselves a pickaxe here and use it you can see that it has 4,000 durability, like we said in the code. And if we press F3, we can see our armor model is also rendering. If you need any help, join our Discord, and I'll see you next time.